guys, welcome to the Crouch Ranch. Today we're going to show you how we move these Cornish from the brooder out to pasture. Then we're going to show you a little bit about how we built this tractor. Hold themselves in a bit. 
but it may not be easier to pass it. But I don't think I can pass yeah. off to it. So. Ooh. loaded the birds up uh, out of the half of the brooder that has the mature birds, the more mature birds that are four weeks old. We've carted them into a couple of carriers on the back of the little tractor and we are going to take them out into the pasture to put them into the chicken tractor. We need to spin it around because the sun is to the south and the shade piece needs to be to the south. Sorry, I totally jacked that up. You walk that way, I'll walk this way. Okay. Okay. Really? 
think. We've had some people ask about uh, the design of this tractor. I didn't make this idea up. Uh, I found it online. A lot of people are doing various, uh, you know, versions of the chicken tractor. This is just the one I built. Okay, so I'm going to go over it. Um, it's an eight by eight foot design. Okay, uh, about a whole bunch of eight foot two by threes. Didn't have to cut them. Uh, some of them. Uh, I've got a four by eight sheet of wood covering half of the top of the tractor. The reason for that is. And you'll notice the half that it's covering is the south facing half. Um, this is to optimize the amount of shade that these guys get. I would not use corrugated or anything like that here because you might be creating an oven under there instead of uh, a cooler spot. So make sure you give them some shade. Make sure you give them some vitamin D area as well. Uh, we'll pan over uh, how I built these corners. Uh, pretty basic, simple construction. Just used uh, braces up the side and then tied these in. Uh, my lid, I've got a couple of hinges on the lid and then the lid, as you can see, it opens up like this, okay? I've got this little rope attached to it to make it easier to then close the lid, okay? Uh, I've got it opened up so that you can basically access the whole front of this thing for changing out their food and their water. Uh, put some handles on it for just some, some braided rope uh, for when we move it. And uh, covered the whole thing with this hardware cloth. Uh, this is, you know, you wanna use small square, uh, half inch square holes because if the squares are too large and a coon can actually reach inside there and swipe those things, uh, he may not get it out and eat it, but he'll kill it. Uh, and we've learned here that coons like to kill chickens. So uh, that's pretty much the basic design. I don't have a, uh, a set of blueprints or anything for this, but I, I think that uh, that rundown for anybody that's gonna build one uh, should get you on the right track. Thanks for hanging out with us at the Crouch Ranch. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell so you get the notifications when we go live and post new content. And don't forget to follow us on 
Twitter at the Crouch Ranch and Instagram at the Crouch Ranch and like our Facebook page, The Crouch Ranch. That's a lot of crouching. That's a lot of crouching. <laughs>